In this first demo, we're going to use Stream Explorer to analyze live streaming data. In this case, we are looking at data reported by devices, devices that are spread around the world, like copiers and printers and other such devices, and that report periodically their current status. And their status can be that they're healthy, that they're doing okay. It can be a problem as well. And we're looking for devices that have a sustained period of problems and each such device will be reported once and only once to the event delivery network of the SOA suite. In this case, our signals are created as part of a comma separated values file. That's easy for the demo. Normally, Stream Explorer would typically tap into a stream um, that has JMS as a source, perhaps EDN or an HTTP channel. So here we see the home page for Stream Explorer. And I'm going to log in. And as a first step on this pretty home page, we're going to go to the catalog, the catalog that contains all our items. In this case, the item we need to create is a stream as a first step. It's a stream that represents the device signals. Normally, as I said, taken from a JMS queue, for example, in this case taken from a CSV file. We have to specify the file. In this case, it's this file, and the file contains data that looks like this. So we have records, and each record represents an event, and each event has a device ID, an error code, and an error description, and a data value that we'll ignore for this demo. The error code 0000 is not an error code at all. It indicates the healthy state. All non-0000 error codes indicate faulty states. So there we go. Go into process uh, events from this CSV file. And Stream Explorer reads the definition of the data shape from this CSV file. And it proposes a data shape, which is a data structure for the event, a, a data shape based on the definition of the CSV file. We have four properties, and all properties should be string properties. So we can create a stream and the data shape. Our first exploration now will take these signals and look for the non-OK signals. And like I said, all the signals with an error code that's not equal to 0000 is considered a non-OK signal. Here is the exploration editor, and we can see the live streaming data. These are the events that are read from the CSV file from the stream. They're events that represent device states. And we, we see some with error codes not equal to 000, and some are 0000. We want to add a filter to ensure that we, in this exploration, we only get events that have a faulty state, a non-000 state. So we define the filter, looking at error code, and the error code should not be equal to 0000 in order to have uh, only non-OK signals. That's what we want to have. I publish the exploration, which means that it is published as an OEP application to the OEP server, and it also becomes available as a source for other explorations. So now I will create my next exploration, and in this exploration I'm going to look for faulty devices. And any device is considered faulty if it produces a non-OK signal three times within 10 seconds. So my source for this exploration is the, st uh, the exploration non-OK signals, and we're going to summarize, aggregate the non-OK signals. And we're going to group by device ID. And if our count is equal to or greater than three, then we have a faulty device. Well, actually, I said we will consider it a faulty device if it has three, uh, three pr uh, problems within 10 seconds. So I should add the range of 10 seconds as well to my exp uh, exploration definition. So the range will be 
10 seconds. Well, let, let's say it's 20 seconds. If we have three faulty reports in 20 seconds, it's definitely a faulty device. And we will recalculate every three seconds. And of course, these are values suitable for a demo, not necessarily values suitable for real life, although uh, perhaps they are suitable for real life. So here we go. We have our exploration defined and we have our first faulty device, which has three uh, non-OK signals within 20 seconds. So I I'm going to publish this exploration as well and return to the catalog because now I have to deduplicate. Um, we want each faulty device to be reported only once in order to not to flood the EDN, the event delivery, uh, event delivery network, with reports about faulty devices. So I now create a new exploration, and it's a special one. It's based on a pattern, and the pattern in this case is eliminate duplicates. So the source is the faulty devices, and from the faulty devices, I'm going to uh, il il eliminate duplicates on device ID, and I consider it a duplicate if I get the same device ID more than once within a window of one minute. So if the device is still non-OK in the next minute, it will be reported, but it won't be, it won't be reported in this exploration more than once per minute. And of course, I can set a different time window here. Again, I publish the exploration, which means it's published, deployed to the OEP server, and it becomes available as a source for other explorations. So now for my, f for my final exploration, it's one, well, first of all, I need to define a reference. I want to enrich my device details. I want to know where the faulty device is located. And for this, I need to, uh, to create a reference. And the reference is basically a database table in this version of Stream Explorer. And here I have a database table called devices. And this table contains um, the device ID and for each device also its location, a business name, an address, a city, etc. So this table will be my reference. So I go to Stream Explorer, I create a reference and in preparation for this demo, I have created a data source on OEP. So I'm now using this data source. The reference is, well, device details, and it's of type database table, which is the only type available at this moment for references. The data source I'm using is the one that I've prepared. And from this data source, there's a number of tables to select. In this case, I'm going to use the devices table. So there we go. I have created my reference, the reference called device details. Now I'm going to create my final exploration. And this final exploration has enriched, that's the good part, but still faulty devices. And these are going to be reported to the event delivery network. So exploration four, that's the one that has the deduplicated data. And from this exploration, well, first of all, I'm going to enrich. So I'm going to correlate the exploration four with the device details reference. And the correlation is done by device ID. So when the device ID matches the ID from the reference, then I have my, my uh, my match and I will have my enriched uh, details. And we may have to wait a little bit for a faulty device. So let's publish this exploration. And now I also want results from this exploration to be published to the event delivery network in SOA Suite. So in SOA Suite, I have defined a business event, an EDN event, and they also have a composite, the device maintenance composite, that's triggered by this event, and it currently doesn't have any instances, and it will have some instances shortly. 
So I'm going to configure a target for this exploration. In this case, the target is of type EDN, and you can see that other targets are available. I can publish the results from this exp exploration to JMS, to a REST service, to an HTTP channel, and to a CSV file. In this case, it's EDN. I have to provide the URL for the SOA suite. And username, password as well. And now I can get the event definitions. And there's only one EDN event available in the SOA suite. It's the malfunctioning device event. And here we have the elements defined in this EDN event. And these elements are address, device, identifier, and city. And now I have to indicate how from the current exploration, I'm going to provide the values. I'm going to map the values to these event properties. Well, first of all, there's the address. There's the device identifier, and there is the city. So now I have defined how the EDN event is to be created and populated based on the events produced by the Stream Explorer exploration. So there we go. I press finish. I have to publish again. So we have published the exploration, and it now is configured with a target to publish its findings to EDN events uh, in order to initiate a composite in the SOA suite. We can see we have two additional events in the live output stream. So we can see that there are two devices that have been found to be faulty. And for these two devices, not only do we see an entry in the output stream, but also events should have been published to EDM. So when now we go and look in the Enterprise Manager and we check for events that have been created recently, we'll see two more, these first two events that have been created as a result of our exploration identifying two additional faulty devices. There we see a new faulty device. It's the US CARS ORCL6. When we go to the Enterprise Manager and query for recent instance, it will be another uh, recent instance based on this other faulty device that we have identified in the exploration. Okay, let's return to our presentation. 